Hello there guys, my name is Coast Shadow Angsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a Coast of Chow fact file. Now this series is all about looking at different uh, roller coasters and attractions, not giving you my thoughts on them, especially, and this is why this series is basically towards rides that I haven't done yet. Um, but this series is all about different facts, uh, different statistics, bit of history on the ride, uh, and just sharing with you o overall, uh, hence the name fact file. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel. This video is all about Vampire at Chessington World Adventure Resort. Now, this was requested by Irish Music Hub. So, big shout out to you guys. If you want a shout out, if you want to sh uh, request a video uh, to get a shout out, then comment down below your video suggestions. I will save them all on my brand new phone note, which is brilliant. Hashtag Samsung. And, um, yeah, so basically we're going to share all the facts and stats and history about Vampire at Chessington for your viewing pleasure. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut no case bell so you never miss another YouTube video. As of recording this, not loading this, as of recording this, we're nearly at uh, half a million subscribers. Uh, half a million subscribers? I wish. Half a million views, which is unbelievable. And nearly 2,000 subscribers. So if we've reached that one of those targets, or both those targets, when, before this video comes out, hooray, hurrah. And um, make sure you keep viewing the old video. Let's get the view count up. Let's keep watching the new videos as well. Keep subscribing to the channel as well because your subscriptions mean a lot. They're for free. They don't cost to subscribe. And... Uh, but for now, guys, let's have a look at the facts, stats, and history of the terrifying vampire. So this ride opened on the 11th of April, 1990. It's an aerodynamic suspended roller coaster. So 1990, 30 years old, this ride, which is a, a long, long ride. Now, this has a length of 2,200 feet, a speed of 45 miles per hour, two chain lift hills built by Vacoma, and, of course, it had a renovation, which we'll speak about uh, in a little bit. Uh, now, in terms of the history of this ride, this one has a long, long history for the ride and the area it sits in. Now, in terms of the theme, the ride has a gothic theme, originally very detailed with a queue line through Castle Gate, a fog-filled underpass beneath the coaster, also a graveyard canopy with gothic tombs and dark passageway into the station, and the station itself was dressed as a castle ballroom with flaming chandeliers, gothic murals, and a large pipe organ stage piece with dramatic lighting and audio effects. However, most of this has since been removed. Now, the famous theme music in the station was composed by Graham Smart in the style of an organ overture with a gothic rock sound, alluding to Phantom of the Opera. Uh, I love that musical. <laughs> uh, now, of course, in 1998, the ride was partially refurbished with new branding, and it originally had black bat-themed trains, and towards the end of the ride, the coaster takes a sudden drop into a tunnel before entering the brake run. The tunnel was originally longer, darker, and themed as a cave, but this has since been removed. Now, as Vampire started to age, it suffered from a number of breakdowns and maintenance problems. The manufacturer Arrow had gone bankrupt since the ride had been built, meaning little could be done to rectify the issues. The Vampire ended up being closed throughout 2001, and at the time, this was thought to be a permanent closure and removal from the park. However, instead of removal, the decision was taken to modify the ride so it could use a new type of suspended coaster train. Now, the track was to remain unchanged because modifying this would require planning permission, which was unlikely to have been granted. Uh, so they sort of made the decision but decided not to remove any track or modify it in any simple way. Since the ride consists of a, only a suspended swinging model with tight corners, any new trains would have to be able to swing, reducing lateral Gs. This led to the development of swinging suspended flawless trains and they were manufactured by Vacoma, which is still being used to this day as of 2020. The modified ride reopened for the 2002 season. In 2015, the graveyard canopy was demolished following years of little maintenance. The grand chandeliers were also removed and now very little of the themed queue and station exists the way it was intended, with much of the scenery, sound and lighting being lost. Now, of course, it ended up coming into a brand new area once uh, a couple of years ago rolled around because Transylvania was transformed into the Wild Woods with the addition of the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure, replacing the Bubble Works attraction. Now, Vampire may be in two themed areas in its time, but the Vampire is still a terrifying gothic experience at Chessington World Adventure Resort. And where would we be without this 30-year-old ride? 
as of 2020. So there we go, that's all the facts, stats and history on Vampire at Chessington World Adventures. Massive shout out to Irish Music Hub for suggesting this video. Uh, what a fact file, what a fact file. It was interesting to find out all the little details about the station work, the theming, the lighting, the sound effects, all the stuff that was there, all the stuff that's now gone, all the stuff that's still there. It was amazing to sort of you know read and research and hear all about this stuff. And, you know, very, very good work from Vampire and the Chessington team. Even though a lot of it's been lost in recent years, you know, it's nice to see the ride still going strong after 30 years. And, you know, long may it have another 10, 15, 20 years more uh, before it gets any sort of re uh, replacement or major refurbishment that might require planning permission. So, I mean, comment down below what you think. Do you think Vampire's going anywhere in the next 15, 20 years? Personally, maybe. Um, I would get out to it as soon as possible. I will certainly go out to ride Vampire before it gets removed. Um, you know, I'll try and get out there as soon as possible, as, as long as COVID isn't in the world as well. But, you know, I think Vampire is a really good ride, really good family thrill coaster, and, you know, long may it continue for as long as possible at Chessington World Adventures Resort. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this Coast Shell Fact File from Vampire at Chessington. Make sure you keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Coop, living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill day.